hi everyone in this video i am going to give you the idea how to draw the layout diagrams for the nand and nor gates okay we know nand and nor gates are the basic universal gates so which are used to design any type of logical functions uh, to call as uh, to call as uh, to call as universal functions okay now how to draw the cmos invert uh, cmos circuit diagram for the two input nand gate and thereby cmos circuit diagram for the two input nor gate and later we will see the layout diagrams of these two so in the previous videos i gave you the idea how to draw the uh, cmos circuit diagrams suppose here the output is c we are taking so c is equal to the relation between these two is nand is nothing but ab complement ab bar ab bar so multiplication thereby complement and we know the complementary metalloxid semiconductor by default it gives you the complemented form so no need to produce any complemented output so by default based on this arrangement the output gives you the complemented form if you if it is in an uh, and gate then after, after getting the output this c should be passing through an inverter to get the uh, ab okay likewise we need to design now let us see how to draw the layout diagram of this type of circuit diagrams or sema circuit diagrams so first and foremost thing is first we need to draw the metal lines first for every circuit whatever may be the circuit first we need to draw the metal lines to produce uh, supply wires like vdd and vss so take the same thickness like 2 lambda which is here thickness length is of our wish we can design any length this is the metal line that to metal one okay metal we have several metal layers we are using metal one as it is having low resistance and capacitance compared to the remaining one so metal representation is nothing but vertical lines vertical lines and here around, around also we need to draw a vertical line okay what is the thickness of the metal line 3 lambda separation is also 3 lambda that is a minimum separation above which we always generally consider because in between these two we are having a power supply so we are uh, we are having the circuit diagram we it is vdd and vss ground vss or we can say it is the ground terminal now see here two pmos transistors which are connected in parallel and two nmos transistors which are connected in series so two pmos transistor take yellow color take yellow color draw a parallel combination like this uh, yellow color is nothing but here for our uh, layout diagram the p plus diffusion is nothing but green border with yellow stripes so take the same green border in parallel connection like this okay so now take yellow color take yellow color draw lines with wider gaps okay now take the same green color for n plus diffusion where two nmos transistors are in series that's why so directly we are taking like this and the stripes must be very nearer to each other this is the stripes now take red color for the creation of transistors so red color for the first time which is for the input a this is a input and here 
also another input that is the B input. Now the same two inputs are in series here. That's why the two polysilicons are drawn directly like this. Okay. Now take blue color. Connect these two because these two are different wires. We need to connect the interconnect with these two. Extend the same for the output y or c is equal to c is equal to what I said a b bar. Okay, metal lines are nothing but straight color straight wires, straight lines. Now what we need to do? Black color contact. Wherever we are having the connection of two different two different layers, there you need to provide the contact cut. Okay, one thing you can darken the box, otherwise you can simply put a cross mark like this that indicates that the, the contact is connected between two different wires. Okay, hope this is the layout diagram for the two input NAND gate. Now let us see, uh, let us give the inputs over here at A and B. So it is A and it is B. If you want you can inter interact these two like a, this connection and this connection you can directly connect together and give the A input and again this bottom B and this B these two can be connected together and give the B input. Okay. But this type, uh, this type of representation is also okay. No need to draw here and there. Okay, this is for the two input NAND gate. Now let us see another circuit diagram which is a two input NOR gate. Which is a two input NOR gate. So for the two input NOR gate, A and B terminals in the PMOS transistor, A and B inputs are in series. And whereas two NMOS transistors in the uh, N type realization, they are in the parallel okay which is the opposite case with respect to the NAND gate now here we have a VDD in the top and VSSR ground in the last place or bottom place now take a metal wire same as it is we have taken in the previous uh, layout diagram for the NAND gate so take metal wires which is a metal one, draw these metal wires for VDD and VSS power supply, for VDD and VSS power supply. Now again draw the representation. See here one thing you need to observe, all the layers are having different different representations. All the layers are having different different representations. Depending on the representation itself, you can easily identify which layer it is. Okay, no need to show the color representation like the stick diagrams. In stick diagrams, you are having only lines, so definitely one uh, color is needed. But whereas in this Leo diagrams, along with the colors, by default, that layer itself gives you the it is a particular layer that means the representation is like that that type without representation without colors also you can easily draw the layout diagrams that type of representation is known as monochromatic representation monochromatic representation that means a single color we are using for all the representations okay so take green color take green color Take like this, this is the green color. Now uh, in the N type representation, this is the N type representation with uh, narrow lines. Now, take yellow color, draw in between, okay. Now, take red color, 
and draw pol uh, polysilicon to represent the inputs A and B. And here the two transistors are in parallel. Okay. So this is the A input A. This is B. This is A. This is B. Now these two are connected with the metal line and the metal is acting as the interconnect wire. So metal needs to be connected between these two and extend the same for the output. This is Y is equal to A plus B whole bar nor gate here Y or C it is equal to A plus B whole bar nor gate. So now what else we need? We need a contact cut. A contact cut has to be placed wherever we are having different layers. This is one contact cut. This is another contact cut. Here we have to give. Here we have to give. And here also we need to give. These are the, here it is VS, uh, sorry, VDD. And it is VSSR ground. So these are the two different uh, diagrams which are used for the implementation of any type of logic realizations. That's why those are uh, known as universal gates and or gates to input. Thank you.